Yes, I had to modify this house furnace filter. Uh, supposedly it's 16 by 25 by 5. Well, that's really the type of receptacle in the filter box that they're supposed to fit into. And it's actually less than that, about a half inch less in each direction. So the main problem is the uh, top of the filter box has a metal flange that's designed to catch the top edge of the filter, but this is too small to catch it properly. So as you see, I, I laminated a piece of wood over it. I used uh, Tight Bond 2, I believe, which is a waterproof glue. Shouldn't get any water in the furnace, but I have a humidifier and if you get a lot of humid air from the humidifier right next to the return, that possibly could mess up a, a glue joint. So again, I used a good quality waterproof glue. I had to put some weights, about two pounds on each edge over here, because these edge, edges were springing up a little bit. Uh, that way I had proper contact. I also put some tape uh, along the uh, edges of this. Uh, I used a, like a painter's tape that could come off easily, so that way it wouldn't tear up the filter. And once it dried, of course, I took the tape off. Uh, and the, the main thing is this, this strip of wood had, was about 7 16 inch thick. Uh, and that, that's all it took. But at the side, I had to have a little gap here. This gap is designed to uh, let the furnace door shut because part of the furnace door goes over that. So I don't, every installation is going to be different depending upon the manufacturer of your furnace box. Um, so you have to look carefully. You might need thicker wood or thinner wood. Check with the manufacturer to make sure that this is acceptable. You don't want parts of this to, like tape or anything, to go into the furnace and hit the heat exchanger. That will smell things up pretty bad. This filter I actually did a year ago and I took it out uh, and I put another one in, did exactly the same thing except I cut it first. Here I put it on and I found the door wouldn't close, so I had to cut it and I damaged part of it with a saw but I used some tape, furnace tape actually and this worked fine for a year. So show you another shot looking at it like this there's a hundred dollar filter but it's what I had to do to make it fit it's kind of aggravating to spend this much money on a filter and then have to modify it <laughs>